This is a 29er Online's introduction to the specialized Camber Elite size large. The first thing we're going to show you is the Shimano crankset. It is a three gears up front and it's an Octolink version so a splined spindle and the bearings are threaded into the bottom bracket shell. Onto the front derailleur, Shimano SLX version. It is also mounted to the swing arm and cycles along with the suspension. It works very well. The RockShock Ario shock, the rebound dial, and the lockout. It is a 1.9 inch stroke, so don't measure the shaft. Measure go off 1.9 inches when you set your sag. Onto the front of the bike, the fork is a 1 and 1 8 inch steer tube, and it, the frame houses integrated bearings. Here's the lockout on the RockShock Recon fork. And as we go lower on the fork, we will show you the rebound dial on the drive side leg. If, if you look up the fork, you can see the power bolts that make the front fork a little bit stiffer. Here is the cockpit of the Specialized. This is a 680 millimeter wide flat bar and you'll get a nice view of the Avid Elixar brakes, custom spec from Specialized, and the Alivio shifters from Shimano. They are dual release, so you can uh, downshift with your thumb and also upshift with your thumb or forefinger. Onto the rear of the bike, this is the cassette from Shimano and HG30, and the Shimano XT rear derailleur. And this is the one spec that we've chose to uh, upgrade right out of the box. Um, and we feel it's a good upgrade, lightens up the bike a little bit, but more importantly really improves the shifting. So our specialized chain state protector and a nice view of that XT rear derailleur. Now we get to take a look at the down tube cable routing. It is full length housing so it keeps the dirt and grime out of your cables. The cables go underneath the bottom bracket and we're going to show you the ferrule guide that uh, guides the derailleur cable to the front derailleur. And when you're changing cables, you want to be careful not to lose this part. Nice view of the specialized quick release seat clamp and the specialized seat post. On to the non drive side. The first thing we'll take a look at is our front rotor. It's a 200 millimeter or 8 inch rotor um, and a standard dropout on the fork. As we go up the fork, we can see the cable guide, the cable routing. You zip tie it to your fork and then run the cable on the inside leg. This is the Specialized Captain Control 2.2 front tire, so a nice wide tire for a little extra traction up front. Again, a nice view of those controls, the Specialized Cockpit and that really nice hydroformed frame. Onto the rear of the bike, this is a specialized Captain Control 29 by 2.0 rear tire and the 180 millimeter or roughly 7 inch rotor. Specialized horse link, this is unique to specialized bikes and only licensed through specialized bikes. The specialized S-Link and up to that body geometry hinge saddle and a 143 mil width. Here's a nice feature of the frame. These are cable guides for your dropping seat post. They're built into the frame from specialized bikes.